Welcome to the virtual race brief for the Penang Barrier Ultramarathon. My name is Wayne Drinkwater and I am the event director at GB Ultras and today we're just going to talk you through some of the key points that you may need to know for the race itself. The start venue for the event is at Malham Showfield, just on the left hand side as you come into Malham on Chapelgate Road. Race registration is available on the Friday prior to the event at 5.30pm until 9pm. Or alternatively, you can collect your bib number and your GB race tracker from the event team at race registration on a Saturday morning of the event from 4.15am up until 5.30am. Event parking is available at Malham Showfield for the Penine Barrier. Camper vans are also welcome. For those wishing to camp, please use the local campsites of Riverside Campsite and Gordale Campsite. If you have pre-ordered one of the GB Ultras technical t-shirts for the event, you can pick that up at race registration, along with having a look at the other merchandise that we have available. When you collect your GB race tracker at race registration on the Saturday morning of the event, it is already switched on. All you have to do is fasten it securely to your pack. There is a Velcro fastener just on the rear of the tracker that allows you to securely fasten the tracker to your shoulder strap or the back. Please note that the tracking is updated at two minute intervals if there is GPS signal. Please ensure that you hand your tracker back to the event team at the finish line of the event. Alternatively, if you decide not to continue during the race, please ensure that you hand your tracker back to the event team at a checkpoint. The race starts at 6 a.m. sharp. The route for the Pennine Barrier Ultramarathon initially follows the Pennine Way. The Pennine Way is a national trail, one of the oldest national trails that we have in Britain. The race follows the Pennine Way to checkpoint one, which is beside Pennigent. As you get to the summit of Pennigent, you'll then start to follow the Yorkshire Free Peaks Trail. The Yorkshire Free Peaks is a really well marked route, linking Pennigent to Ribblehead Viaduct to Wernside and over to Ingleborough, and also to Harton and Ribblesdale to complete the Yorkshire Free Peaks. When you reach checkpoint 5, you'll then retrace your footsteps along the Pennine Way to head back over to Malham. There will be some signs up, directional arrows at the beginning of the race and at the end, just to keep you en route. Due to the race using national trails such as the Yorkshire Free Peaks and the Pennine Way, there's no need for any extra markers during the race. We also have mountain teams in place where they're wearing high-vis vests so that they are identifiable. Checkpoint locations during the Pennine Barrier Ultramarathon. Checkpoint 1 is at Silverdale Road at 12 miles into the race. No support teams are permitted at this checkpoint on request of the landowners and also Yorkshire Dales National Park. Arriving at the location for anything other than the extraction of a runner may compromise our regaining permissions for the event to take place next year. Please advise your support teams accordingly. Checkpoint 2 is at Ribblesdale Viaducts at 21 miles into the race. Support teams are welcome, but please arrive early due to limited parking. Checkpoint 3 is at Philpin Farm Campsite, 26 miles into the event. And this is after descending Wernside. No support teams are permitted at this checkpoint as it's a third party checkpoint and a private road. Checkpoint 4 is at Horton and Ribblesdale at 34 miles into the race and that is after descending Ingleborough and completing the Yorkshire Free Peaks. Support teams are permitted but please park sensibly and consider using the Yorkshire Dales National Park car park paying display. You'll then head over to checkpoint 5 which is 38 miles into the race and that is at Silverdale Road. Again, no support teams are permitted except for extraction of their runner only. From here onwards, you're going to retrace your footsteps with the exception of at the top of Malham Cove where you'll be taking a left towards Gordale rather than a right down the steps. The finish for the race is at Malham Showfield which was also the start location. Please respect any support crew restrictions that we might have in place. So we might say that there is limited parking at a certain checkpoint which means that support crews are not permitted. The GPX is available to download off the GB Ultras website for the event. If there are any diversions in the lead up to the race we will let participants know via email and issue a new GPX for the race. The diversions are sometimes essential works deemed necessary by the local authority or the landowner. It is out of our hands, but we will ensure that a diversion is suitably marked if needed. No paces are permitted on the 50 mile event. This is to ensure that it is equal and fair for all participants who are entered into the race. A pacer is somebody that you've arranged to meet you on the route and run a section with you. That is not permitted. You are also not permitted to have anyone else carry your mantra kit throughout the event. Please ensure that you look over the mantra kit video, which has been done by Laurie Yates, one of the RD team. This kit is the minimum standard kit that you must carry for the race itself. 
if you want to carry anything extra, by all means, feel free to do so. But this is the minimum standard kit, the safety kit that we need you to carry at all times during the ultramarathon. The weather conditions can change quite rapidly, particularly in the mountains, so please bear that in mind. That is why the mantra kit is there, because there may well be changing conditions in the lead up to the race or during the race. There may also be a poor weather forecast for the race day. If this is the case, then we may well add extra kit to the mandatory kit list, such as waterproof trousers, warm hats, and gloves. In the event of severe weather during one of our mountain races, we have dedicated mountain teams in place. So we may well action a low level route prior to the race start or during the race by the mountain teams. During the race, there will be random kit checks and also potentially at the finish line. If you are found not to be carrying the mandatory kit for the race itself, you could be disqualified or there may well be time penalties imposed. It's important that we all play our part to respect the environment that we're in. During an ultra marathon, you'll often be eating on the move. Any snacks, any litter that you have during the race, make sure that it's nice and tight and secure in a dedicated pocket on your pack. Please ensure that if you're using that pocket for anything else, maybe your mobile phone, that you don't drop any litter out of that pocket when you take your phone out. So maybe just use a dedicated area of your pack for litter. Make sure that when you come into a checkpoint that you unload all of your litter so it reduces the risk of any litter going on the route. As shown on the Mantra Kit video for the race, GB Ultra's events are plastic free, cupless events. So please bring your own cup with you. We do sell these at race registration should you need to or online. Please follow the countryside code. Please share the trail with other users. They've got as much right to be on that trail as you do. Please close gates and styles after you, and also keep to the trail at all times. This leads on to the emergency instructions for the Pennine Barry Ultramarathon. If there is a minor injury, please let a checkpoint, a marshal, or race HQ know. Only in an emergency where there's a risk to life or limb, please follow these instructions. Number one, put on any spare clothing and use your foil blanket or thermal survival bag to keep warm. Number two, trigger the SOS button on the front of your tracker. On the front of your tracker, just underneath the race tracker logo, there is an SOS button. Hold it down for approximately three seconds and this will alert Race HQ. Please note that that is no substitute to speaking to Race HQ on the phone. Number three, if there is a risk to life or limb and you are at a checkpoint, please call 999 and ask for an ambulance. If there is a risk to life or limb and you're on the mountains, then please call 999 and ask for the police and mountain rescue. Number four, inform Race HQ by calling the numbers for Race HQ that you should have saved on your phone. Number five, attract the attention of fellow participants or passers-by by using your whistle or shouting. This completes the virtual race brief for the Pennine Barrier Ultramarathon. If you have any questions in the lead up to the event, please don't hesitate to send us an email at events at gbultras.com. If it is race week, we can't guarantee a reply. Thanks so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you on race day in the Yorkshire Dales National Park.